Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm just demoing Amethyst, uh, which is a window tiling manager for macOS. And what is that you ask? Well, let me show you, let me give you a quick demo. So let's go ahead and open Chrome and it'll default to full screen after a little bit of lag. Uh, and we'll open, you know, say notes here and it'll default open to the side here. Uh, let's go ahead and open Finder. It's uh, Firefox. You know, just a couple of random apps that I'm showing you in. You see how this is very different from your classic Mac Mac setup. So typically, you know, you'd, you'd have like window on top of window that would, you know, have be different sizes, all of them, and you know, they just kind of stack on top of each other and then be kind of hard to manage between them, especially if you have a lot of windows open, um, which is the case a lot of the time. Um, and you can use command tab, uh, command tab, yeah, to go through them, but that is not it, the the command tab, it, it's history based, so it's dynamic and it's not like you can press, you know, command tab and it'll always open one application, right? You can set different macros for different applications, but it's just not a very efficient way to navigate between a lot of tabs. Uh, Window Tiling Manager, for example, is a way to get around that. And this is uh, very popular on Linux based systems. Um, not very popular on Mac, and so, you know, right now, it, it's not perfect. You know, we're still, there's still some bugs here and some things like you see, it's uh, like this kind of right here. Um, as I'm switching between things, it, it's kind of overlaying each other. That's not technically supposed to happen, uh, but but it is what it is. And functionality wise, it is perfect. So let me just demo for you what I can do. So as you saw, we can open um, open and close things. So let me go ahead and just you know close that and automatically resize. We don't have to spend any time resizing. We can switch modes between these. And this is all keyboard based, by the way. I'll go over the key combinations that I'm using later in the video and how to customize all that and also how to download this. Um, but so we can switch between these. We can, you know, say we want to hover notes and we want to bring them to different places. Uh, we can do that um, with another key combination. You know, um, if we're on, so, so uh, this big tab here, we'll call it like the main tab. These will just be like the, the non-main tabs, right? So you have a custom key combination to always get back to the main tab, regardless of where you are, regardless of how many windows you have open. If you press, well, we'll go over key combinations for me later. Uh, but right, you, you can always go back to the main. Um, there are different views you can do too, so let's cycle through those. There's this one, full screen, this one, and back to normal. So different things you can use. I only use this one and full screen, and you can go full screen, non-full screen, full screen, non-full screen really easily. Um, let's see what else. Uh, right, if you're working with uh, multiple desktops, so I, let's see, I have a desktop to the left here. So if I wanted to, for example, just take this Firefox tab out because I'm not using it and just put it to another desktop, so to the, to the left. I'll press that and boom, just here. Now let's go back here. Um, and, so, and so it's very, very fast. Once you get the key co combinations down, obviously you, you can customize it to whatever you want. Um, and, and once you've got that into the muscle memory, it's just insanely fast. I haven't gotten to that point yet because you know I, I've just installed Amethyst today. Um, but already I can tell it's, it's, it's improving the way I navigate around my desktop and it's incredibly fast. So. Let's quickly go over how to uh, how to install it. So let's full screen Chrome, and I'll I'll have the link to all of this in the description below. Anywho, um, you can come down here and go ahead and open Terminal. And oh, am I in full screen mode? Yep. Uh, so actually, let's go ahead and just exit out of this. So we just have the two. Uh, to window mode, which is very clean in window tiling managers. Uh, once you get above like three, it gets a little bit messy, especially with, you know, the glitchy Mac OS, but it is what it is. So we can copy this, um, copy that, just put it here and press enter. Just open the terminal with uh, spotlight shirts, just look for terminal. Um, and that'll get you there, paste that in. And I won't do it here because I already have it installed, but you can easily install it like that. Uh, you can also directly download it from these release pages. Um, this is homebrew, but yeah, you, you can go to this link and download it somehow like this. I, I would just recommend using brew if you have homebrew installed. Uh, if not, it's a nice thing to have. You can go ahead and install that. Um, I'll leave the de description for this as well. Uh, basically what that allows you to do is basically just, you know, whenever you're in terminal, if you don't use the terminal much, don't bother. but uh, it's very nice if you do, and you can just go brew, install, and then whoop, install. 
install if I could type, and then literally anything. So you see, I, I have my terminal auto completing to whatever I did last. Uh, but basically, you can um, you know type whatever name you want here, and it'll just automatically install it. You don't have to visit the website or anything; just instant install. So basically, that that's what that will do for Amethyst. And right out of the box, um, let's go ahead and close that. Oh, close that. Uh, close that. And right out of the box, uh, you know, you'll just open, you know, go in Finder and open Amethyst. Um, or it, it might already be available for you to click up here. Just find like the Amethyst or the crystal looking icon up here. Press that. Um, if, if it's not up here, you just need to open the app and it'll, it'll be up here. Um, so you can enable, disable it, enable it on login. I would recommend you do that. Um, you know, quick, quick uh, options here and preferences is where we're gonna do all the magic. So uh, this is, you know, you can check out these other tabs here. What we're gonna focus on is these shortcuts. Um, and so by default, it's gonna have a bunch of things listed here and you can use them straight out of the package. It's ready to go. It's kind of like a batteries installed type of thing. It's just ready to go on download, uh, which is very nice. Um, but I personally didn't like the key combinations they had there. I think it was using like alt, alt shift and then a key. I wasn't a fan of that. So I remapped it to control shift and then my preferred key. Um, and it is a lot of key com key combinations, but it it is a lot easier to, to memorize if you kind of do what makes sense for you. Um, I, I would recommend you don't use the defaults if, if that doesn't make sense for you. Do things that make sense for you and you'll get it a lot faster. Also, um, you know, kind of associate it with a word. So like if you're doing control shift, uh, H, for example, uh, and you wanted to you know, you know, think of that as home. If you want to go back to main, like that's your home. So control shift H, that's home for you. That, that will be much easier to memorize. Obviously, that's not what I have it set as. Uh, but basically, you know, do what works for you. Um, and I'll go over actually right now what my key combinations are. Uh, you don't have to use this. This is just for me. Um, you can actually stop the video right now. You basically have everything you need to know to get started. Uh, but if you want to just stick along, I'm gonna show you what I use for uh, navigating my way around this. So let's go ahead and open a couple things up again. Um, terminal, and we'll go with, whoop, Firefox too, okay. Oh, um, let's see, what's one I don't have open? Wow, I, I can't think of anything. Finder, finder, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, so, I have everything shift set to control shift and then a key. So for me, cycling through, I kind of have it to uh, Vim navigation defaults, if you know what that is. So control shift L is gonna rotate through my windows clockwise. Control shift H is gonna rotate through them counterclockwise. The reason that makes sense for me is because that's Vim navigation left and right, um, but do what works for you. Uh, control shift J is gonna minimize, uh, shrink, and Control Shift K is gonna maximize. Again, that makes sense for me because of uh, Vim stuff. Uh, and Control Shift J and K, uh, you can only resize the main window, so this one here. So even if I'm on, for example, the terminal here, and I wanna resize the terminal, I can't really do that. I can I can do that by resizing the main window here. Um, that's gonna you know lengthen and shorten uh, my terminal, but you can't, uh, adjust the height as far as I know. There might be another way to do that. I don't know that way if there is. Um, anyways, uh, there's that. There is, if we want to move Z terminal window around, we can do control shift and then arrow keys. For me, arrow keys are also binded to command IJKL. So I can use control shift, command IJKL or control shift arrow keys. We'll just go with arrow keys for now. Uh, control shift arrow keys, and then I'll just swap it with um, with, with different windows. So to the right is going to go clockwise, to the left is going to go counterclockwise, right? And so that's really useful. Um, if I want to, say, go over to my notes and make a full screen for me, that's Control Shift A and Control Shift G, Z, sorry, Control Shift Z for back, uh, Control Shift A for full screen. Uh, the reason I did that, I originally had it to like Control Shift F for full screen and Control Shift. Uh, B for back, I think, but that was just too far for me to do with one hand, so I wanted to do it really close because this is something I can see myself doing a lot. So, you know, that's right next to the shift key for me, so control shift A, control shift Z. Very nice. Uh, let's see, what else? <clears throat> I think that about covers it. Oh, um, sorry about that. Um, I have control shift C 
which cycles through these different view modes. Uh, very nice. I don't use that ever because, again, I only use this in full screen. Um, and then I have control shift. So, so a lot of the times, like you'll have, you'll have bugs. So let's say let's say this window isn't resizing properly. All you need to do is refresh amethyst. So you can do that by going up here and uh, relaunch amethyst. They also have a key binding for this, which for me is control shift R, and that will just automatically resize everything, and it's going to be perfect again, right? I mean, it's not perfect because you know Mac bugs, but uh, good enough. Uh, let's see anything else. That I, I think that is it for what I have preset, but you know, essentially you can completely customize this to whatever you want um, just by doing this. And it, it saves in real time and you can you know, demo it and you can fiddle with that with however you want. Um, so anyways, uh, I, I really, really enjoy uh, Amethyst. Oh, one last thing I wanted to show you. So with some apps, it's not gonna work well. So let's close that for example. By the way, to close things really fast, um, I use control W, you can also use control Q. I'm not sure what the difference is, um, but for example, like in, in Finder, I don't think you can use control Q. Yeah, you have to use like control W. So I don't know what the difference between that is, but that's how I close out of Windows. Um, what was I gonna show you? Right, so for some apps, such as say Spotify, um, it's gonna bug out a little bit. Uh, can't really see it here too much, but <laughs> here's a big one, Discord, you're gonna, just die uh, using Discord because um, you can see here, Discord does not allow you to resize the window very much. So this is as thin as we can get it. So Amethyst can't do anything about that. And then this is as, uh, this is as, what is it called? Height, <laughs> as uh, tall as we can get it, uh, as short as we can get it. Right, and so this is the, the smallest screen width, and because we can't resize it, if we were gonna bring in another one, we'd need to like fill up like this amount of space. Um, that the Amethyst can't do anything about that because dif, uh, Discord has made this the smallest we can go. And so there there will be a several, a handful of apps that just, just won't work well with Amethyst um, just by nature because of the way that they they, they work. Uh, for example, if I bring, you know, Notion in here, that's gonna work perfectly because you can you know make it all the way down to here and you know this is this is my my, my notion this this is a whole window right here um and if all apps could do this then this would work perfectly but alas that is not how it works um so just a quick disclaimer it, again it is not perfect um but it's kind of the best option we have just quickly another good option is yabai um this th there are other options out there too but i think yabai and um, Amethyst are kind of the big ones. Um, there's also Chunk WM that was really popular, but I think, it, I could be wrong, but I think Yabai is replacing that now. Anywho, Yabai, it does actually seem to be better and more kind of like Linux-esque, uh, but you have to, in order to get those extra features, you have to enable, uh, disable SIP, I believe, SIH maybe it's called. Um, basically, you have to disable a big security feature in order to get this to fully work. And I didn't want to do that, um, you know, I. I don't want to be installing viruses, especially because I download a lot of things from GitHub and whatnot. So um, that would be a bad idea for me. I would recommend you also keep your you know security features on and just go with Amazon because it, it works well. Um, I'll have both of these in the description, by the way, so you can download either of them. Both are great, you know, I'm sure. And uh, you can check out some videos, um, I believe. So if you just look up, you know, tiling window manager on Mac, you'll see a couple uh, videos if you scroll down to well, maybe I can't find it I can't find it right now but there are some good examples um, of Yabai and it looks better than Amesis does but again you have to customize it a lot more like a lot more uh, you actually have to install three separate packages and you have to disable that security feature so for me Amesis was the way to go and I, I think it'll be for a lot of people it's also more popular um, so anyways that, that wraps up my video I hope I you know enlightened you on you know what amethyst does and maybe you want to try it out if so just go to the description click the link and you can uh, download it a uh, really simple download and uh, it'll be ready out of the box so without further ado uh, I, I hope this has been of some help to you and uh, i will catch you guys later peace